Today's video is sponsored by NordVPN. Hey guys, I'm Nate, welcome back to the workshop. Today we're gonna take something that's not normally very secure and see if we can build something strong out of it. We're gonna make a puzzle box using Lego pieces. This is not supposed to be an exact set of step-by-step -step instructions because the different building blocks that everyone may have available will change from place to place. But the ideas that we're gonna be using should be able to be used and expanded on with what you've got available. We've got a bunch of our Lego bricks. Let's get started assembling. The first thing I wanna do is make the inner box that will eventually hold our prize. Let's start by giving ourselves a base. And you may notice I'm not wearing gloves today. It's because my gloves are black and most of these pieces are black and I, I just don't want everything to blend together on camera. We wanna give ourselves the most inside space on this box. We're gonna need some walls. I like these large pieces with the flat open areas, partly because if we install them with open side in, it gives us a little bit more interior space than we would get if we just built up the walls with normal bricks. So I've got a few of these, different styles. That should give us a little bit more interior space. Build up some walls around this. All right, there's a box that'll hold some stuff. We're gonna want our box to be removable from whatever security we build around it. So let's use some of these smoother pieces to attach onto the top. And then hopefully that will let us slide the box in and out of its case more easily. Now we need to build a larger box that goes around this one and can lock in place so that it's not just a box in a box, but it's a box locked in a box. So let's use some more of these smooth pieces to give ourselves a little bit of a sliding surface. Those are the same length as our box, so that way we should be able to have the box slide nicely on those rails. Mm. Nice and slidey, perfect. Let's throw a slider on the front. That's not really gonna help with the movement much, but it is gonna make it more of a continuous flat plane. Now our box doesn't look like it's just sort of floating over the rails. It's not quite so obvious where the access point is gonna be. So this is a good sliding base, but it's not gonna secure it much. So let's start adding a little bit onto the sides. We've now extended our base with a larger square underneath it. I think we'll be able to use that to build more walls and a ceiling around our strong box. While that plastic wall is getting built, let's talk about our sponsor for today's video, NordVPN, which helps build a digital wall around your data online. Use of unsecured or public Wi-Fi at places like coffee shops, airports, or hotels is among the easiest ways for hackers to access your sensitive info. In the time it takes for you to check a few emails or your social media, someone can easily scrape login or other sensitive info past. Beyond the really bad guys, recent changes to net neutrality laws mean your ISP can start throttling bandwidth, as well as collecting and selling more info about your browsing. All stuff that's easy to prevent with a VPN. Virtual private networks essentially build a wall around your info. A little stronger than a Lego lockbox, protecting it from such prying eyes. Nord double encrypts all your info, regardless of whether you're on your phone, laptop, or at home on a desktop, and they do not keep any logs of your activity like some other VPNs. And as an added bonus, it even comes with a free ad blocker. Nord received the Editor's Choice Award and was the only VPN to receive a perfect score from PC Mag. NordVPN is offering King of Random fans 77% off of a three-year plan. Go to nordvpn.com random or click the link in the description to sign up and start protecting yourself. I think by using some of these bricks with the holes in it, we may be able to add something of a locking mechanism onto our box. Let's take out one of the bricks in our inner box and add in a brick that has a hole in it and maybe then we can get them to line up and work as a lock. Those holes lining up, if we put in this three brick wide peg, that should lock it in place. Now it's lined up flush with the front of our secure box, but it can't move anywhere until that peg is pulled out. This isn't very flush right now. The sides aren't coming up as high as our inner box. So let's just add a little bit more onto that. Can add a ceiling onto it. Now our inner box is entirely contained and it doesn't move until we pull out our lock. Once we pull out the lock, that can slide out. So that's level one of our security, but we can go more secure. Instead of just pushing it out, I think we can build a mechanism that will push it out for us. In fact, since it's a lock box, I really kind of like the idea of having a key, something you put into a slot and turn to really get the box out. Got here one of our little plus cross section little sticks. I don't really know the name for all of the different terms, but it should work pretty well. Make our skeleton key. Let's add a tooth onto it. Let's add some of these little pegs just to hold that tooth right where we want it in place. Got one of these little wheel pieces that has the same 
plus cross section designed to fit over these. So let's add that on. And that to me looks like a key. It's, as I said, not the fanciest key in the world, but it will turn and it'll be a key. Let's try and build something that lets us twist our key and have that be the mechanism that pushes the box out. He goes in here. We want to stop it from going any farther. There, and now it has a nice little spot that it will lock into place. Let's build a back wall on so our key doesn't fly out in the wrong spot. We've got these side bricks that are full of the holes and I kind of want to just keep using that aesthetic a little bit. Let me put one of those pieces on the back here. Let's get that on. So we just need to, there we go. So now we've added a keyhole onto the back of our box and we still have the whole thing as one entire integral unit. Well, our key is working and our lock is working, but our key is still just sort of, you know, where do you keep the key to make sure that it's secure? I don't want to just carry it around in my pocket. This is a Lego key. I might break it, I might lose it. I think I would like to have it with the box, but I want the key to be secure as well. If I just have it sitting on top, it's a little easy to find. So I think we can build a whole disguising mechanism for our key as well. So our key has space to fit on top. We need to build walls around it, and then, like I said, I want the key to be hidden. I don't want the key to just be sitting there. I think what I want to do is have a lid that conceals itself flush with the rest of the pieces, and then a secret button that we can push that will lift the lid or reveal the lid so that we can access our key inside. Push on this piece, it will lift the top up out of the way. That way we can have the top attached and flush to what's around it. And with our push of a secret button, it can lift up and show us the access point. Well, at the moment, our button is shorter than our key, so we're gonna need to lift that up, just make the walls taller than that. The walls, of course, need to be at least high enough to hide our key inside. We do want the button to slide nicely. Let's add in a smooth panel. That can let our button just sort of slide where we want it to go. Let's see. When we push our button in, it does send a pop out entirely. We don't want to lose our button. We just want to be able to push in and then come back out. Let's see if we can build sort of a retaining wall, something that will hold it in on the sides. Don't really want the outside of our box to have much color, but this is gonna be on the inside, so I think we can afford just a little bit. Brighter colors, let's keep that out of Some brighter colored pieces. Nice. I'm liking how that's looking. Now our, our lid, like I said, it doesn't really go on very well. We need to add some attachment points for it, something that will just hold it in place where we want it to go. We don't want to get in the way of our key, so let's try and just go for the corners where it's not going to be interfering with our key at all. And our lid still isn't quite as wide as the whole wall going around our box, so let's take one side of our wall in by one brick layer and then add some corner supports. Now let's get a little bit more support in this corner. Now it's sturdy, it doesn't fall off. Let's try pushing our button here. Hey, that pops right off. Ha! Now our plate is not very well disguised at this point and there's still a little ridge where you can grab it. So I wanna cover the whole plate and the border using some smooth pieces. And I hope that will just sort of disguise it and make it so you can't get your fingers onto it or just take another brick, push it down onto the plate and peel it up like that. secret pop top design is working pretty nicely. And at this point, our puzzle box is mostly done, but there's one more thing I wanna do just to make it a little more secure. This one peg is very obvious. People are gonna know that you need to do something with this peg. So let's take 
all of these other holes going around our whole box and fill those with pegs as well. This particular peg is three bricks wide and we know that it extends through one layer into our interior box to hold it securely in place. But if on the rest of them we just use these two brick wide pegs, they'll look the same from the outside but disguise the functionality of the important one. We now have a secured compartment with three stages to get inside. We first have to hit the secret button to pop off the lid. We can then remove the key from inside the top compartment, but as we know, our hidden key isn't going to do anything until we know which of these pegs going around is our secret lock. And when we pull that out of the way, it disengages, and at that point, we can turn our key to reveal our hidden compartment. Everything easily resets, gets put back in place, and is hidden once again for unlimited reuse. And remember, you don't have to follow this exact design. This is showing you the kind of things you can do to make a cool little multi-stage puzzle out of some Legos. Thanks again to NordVPN, the sponsor for today's video. Go to nordvpn.com random or click the link in the description below to get 77% off of a three-year plan. Guys, thanks for watching. If you aren't a subscriber yet, just hit the bomb to get in the club. If you missed our last video or want to check it out again, just click up here at the top. Click down there if you want to see what the internet thinks you should be watching next. That's it for now. Have fun, be safe, and see you tomorrow.